Hey guys, so I haven't done a video like this in a really long time, probably four years. But today I wanted to talk about tactical gear because I had a company that approached me and asked, do you want us to send you a box of all these really cool things? Pick what you want. So our family has had um, carry conceal and um, just a lot of fun with firearms ever since we were married. John and I took all the home defense and self-defense and when you're at home and when you're outside of home, all these defense classes and we went to the shooting range and we absolutely loved it. I always had a firearm. It was either in my purse or on my person and um, it's just been a big part of our lives. However, as my kids came along, I tended to carry more and more in my purse because I felt concerned about it being on my person. For one thing, it was heavy and I did a lot of gardening and I did a lot of sweating and it was just never comfortable to have that big holster on one side. I felt like it bothered my hips and I had children that I was carrying around. So I just felt like it was hard on my body to have this firearm in, in the way that I had found to carry it that was comfortable. I couldn't conceal it. It's like I couldn't match those two worlds together. So I always carried it in my purse. And recently, with how much traveling we did, I stopped carrying altogether. Um, I felt like, unless I had my purse on me, I was causing um, a little bit of a hazard because we had kids around a lot and I didn't feel comfortable having it in my purse because children could get to it in my purse, but on my I just, it was never working. So, so Tactica is the name of the company that approached us and they specialize in gear for women. So, there, so here's their cute little logo, if you can see it, Tactica, and it says Defense Fashion Dress to Protect, tacticafashion.com. And what I ordered from them, we'll see how I can get through it, is first off, I ordered their corset holster. And the reason I went for their corset instead of something that sat on my belt is because I've used belt holsters before inside the waistband and outside the waistband. It always prints, but most particularly it prints in summer because in the winter I can put a sweater over and it kind of hides a bit in the summer. I don't want to be wearing a sweater outside to garden. The other reason that I like this uh, holster is that it's kind of one size fits all. One size fits all. A lot of times uh, with an inside the waistband or an outside the waistband, the molded or the leather, it, it only fits one specific gun and they're quite rigid. Hence the reason why if I ever bend over, if I ever do anything like that, it completely prints. And usually if I'm wearing something like a t-shirt, there, there's no way for me to hide my firearm on me if it's on my waist. I do have a friend here and she likes to do the, um, the inside the bra underneath, underneath the boob type holster where I think it's actually in her boobs and she like, I'm trying to remember how she pulled it, but when we were out chopping wood once, she bent over to pick up a piece of wood and her gun fell out the top of her shirt onto the ground. She does carry chambered and so um, that was kind of an issue. This one I thought I might be willing to give a chance. The one thing about this is because it's next to your skin where you're going to be sweating, it will get dank, nasty, disgusting if you don't wear a shirt under it. So generally you'll have like an undershirt or a tank top that you'll wear and then you'll put this over the top and then you'll maybe wear a sweater or something over the top of that. And don't judge guys, I'm off keto right now. <laughs> I'm back to paleo because I'm so stressed out about all of this, um, all of this fun that's going on with the house that we're trying to buy. So I'm definitely stress eating. I wonder which way is the up and which way is the down. I'm pretty sure this is the up. Okay make sure yeah that's the up all right so I'm going to put it on the last one I ordered a medium because I have some generous curves and I wanted to still be able to breathe all those things are nice especially if you are in a situation where you're in danger you don't want to be short breathed because of your carry. So this is, this is it. This is actually pretty nice. So it looks like they have two pockets here, which I think is very nice because then no matter which way you want to draw from, I prefer to draw with um, a hand with the gun facing 
backwards if if the firearm is on front. I prefer to have the muzzle of the gun on this side and the handle here so that I can draw like this cross body. And I do I am left-handed but I shoot right-handed. So on cross I have what is what is it called? I cross I'm cross aligned. I don't I don't draw left. I draw right. So what I would want would I would be to have the the handle going this way and the muzzle going this way so that I can draw like this to pull out to shoot. And I have children who desperately want to get back in my house. However, even though that is the way that I would prefer to shoot, I am not actually sure that that is the way that this is designed. I did not see any instructions with it. So I will have to play with this for a bit. It does have these little straps in it and there is a big piece of Velcro on the inside right here so that you can put this strap in all the way along here. That's, that's where the strap is, the Velcro. And so you can take this piece of Velcro and put it on the inside wherever you want to put it on both sides. I actually think this is very comfy. And I do not believe that it would print. One of the problems I have is that my firearm... Go away! So any woman who's had a baby has probably played with a corset at one time or another. And uh, I did the tummy wrapping after I had my kids uh, when it's supposed to help you kind of have all your core muscles go back to where they're supposed to. And I hated it. I felt like it was incredibly restric restrictive. It's supposed to like, you know, help you pull your shoulders back and make you feel happier about yourself. But I always just found it incredibly restrictive. This one is not. It's comfortable, it's thick, but it isn't actually constricting on me. It's just firm. And um, the other thing I like is that I, I'm not bulging at the bottom. Like my hips are not flaring underneath this. You can see it's almost straight down into the shape that I am. And there's no overarm bulge either. I don't have, I don't have anything poking here over the top, which means that I'm, I'm not gonna look like a sausage roll. It, it's, it, it really is just to hold the firearm and to hold it secure on you. It's not meant to make you look like Jessica Rabbit one way or another. Do you know what I mean? So, so far I'm really happy. And again, I got the medium and Catherine got the small. And Catherine is also on keto. <laughs> I, and she's also very small anyway. But if you're on keto, you're definitely going to be a small. And I am very comfy in this medium. And if I were to go back on keto, I'm sure that if I were to go back on keto, at the very least, I would be on this middle to last instead of on the very far to this side. But I'm happy with where I am right now. I need my carbs because I'm under a lot of stress. I think with any of these clothing uh, types where they have to hold up to a lot of friction, they have to hold up to a lot of motion, they have to hold up to carrying something heavy that it's normal. If you're going to wear them every day, you're probably going to need another one in a year. And it's not that it's going to be a lifetime warranty type of a thing because you don't want them to be frigid and not to be able to move. You want them to move, but you want them to be solid enough to hold your firearm in place. And so when you're looking at something like this, it just know that it's not a one time purchase after a year, you probably are going to want to buy another one, just like a pair of boots. If you put them through enough work in order for them to do their job, you just need to either have them resold or you need to repurchase them. The Conceal carry corset was $109.99, so it was $110. So I know that when I buy quality stuff, I have spent that much before. I know that um, if this were to work for me, it would make me feel completely different about going out and gardening with a with my firearm on me because I wouldn't have to worry that it was going to be falling out as I bent over I wouldn't have to worry that it was printing and that I was advertising to the universe that I was carrying um, the one thing I did kind of want to test is um, actually maybe I'll just maybe that's what I'll do I'm gonna take it off really quick and I'm gonna put it on underneath and I just want to see what it feels like underneath and I do want to look and see if it has a, 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 a care um, thing that says how you wash it. So it's 90% polyester, 5% cotton, 5% elastin. So it looks like you uh, wash it in cold. You don't iron it. You don't, you put it in the dryer. You don't do anything with it except just to lay it flat. So I'm going to go put this underneath my shirt 
and maybe what I'll do is go get one of John's firearms because I don't have one of mine here and and see what I think see if it prints really bad so I will be right back okay so I have John's Glock here and first off I know it's too big of a gun for someone like me to carry and what you can see is it definitely prints the other thing is is that wearing it um, with the shirt over the top instead of underneath I do now feel like I kind of need to do up the um, corset to the next to the middle instead of the last row because it is bulging on the top I've got quite a bit of space at the top where the corset is not attached to me but so it in a t-shirt which is what I would be wearing it definitely definitely shows so uh, I don't think you're going to be able to see anything so I'll try and, and show it to you like this now I do have it unloaded I there's no magazine in it and there's nothing in the chamber so this is how I prefer to draw and it does come out very easily even though I had it strapped down. So I'm going to try on this side to see if I can get it in and if maybe it will um, not print so badly if it's under my ribs. So there it is all the way down and then this goes behind the thumb strap and I'm going to push the elastic in and of course again it's of the utmost importance that you're not sticking your finger in there while you're trying to put it in you don't want to accidentally pull the trigger even though it's not necessarily pointed at any part of me all it would take is for me to bend over like that and accidentally push the barrel in as I'm digging around with my finger keep your finger off the trigger make sure there's nothing in your carrier that could accidentally pull the trigger I do have mine on safety and the Glock does not, at least as far as I, my understanding, the Glock does not have an external safety. The other thing is if I wore really, really loose, but see, if I were to wear really, really loose um, clothing instead of something that fits a little bit better, it would cover a little bit more, but I don't think it would cover that much more. So it really depends on your body type. Like how big are your boobs compared to your rib cage, compared to your belly, compared to your hips. If, if your hips are pretty prominent, but you have a little waist and a little chest, this is always going to show up. If, however, you have really big, enormous boobs that can kind of kind of lean over your firearm a little bit, then it would definitely cover that. If you like to wear really bulky clothes instead of fitted clothes, that would also cover it. That's just where I sit on it, and some people are going to be frustrated that I say this and that there isn't some magical world of carry where you don't pay some kind of price for carrying your firearm, but it does weigh something. And um, it does matter what kind of clothes you're wearing. You may have to change the way that you dress in order to be able to conceal. Um, the more expensive, the really, really expensive holsters, it doesn't mean that they're better than the cheaper holsters. It may be that you just have the wrong size of firearm and um, you might just have the wrong type of holster or you might have the wrong body type to be able to carry in that way. Uh, the women that I know, they carry all the time. One of them, she, she uses the bra clip and what it does is it clips on here and then it fits under your boob, if I remember correctly. So you're reaching in, pulling out and um, for me, it, it showed here is it, it did drop underneath my bra enough that it showed here. Not as much as something on my hip would, but it still showed and you did have to have a little bit of caution in what you were doing in it because it, it could come out the top even though it was in a retention holster. And yes, I have tried many, many, many different types of holsters trying to find the right fit. So go check out Tactica Fashion and tell them that I sent you. Again, we're not affiliated with them. They just sent us a bag of goodies and I'm super excited to try them. And as I see if I do or don't like them, I will mention it in different films. And I do love that they're coming out with these better, these, these are pretty well made. I, I really like this. It's not flimsy, it's not flopsy. It's, it's taking it seriously, what it is that they're offering. And I like that. It's not high fashion, even though they're cute, it's not high fashion. It's, um, solid. So 
thanks for watching and hopefully for those of you who haven't seen me do uh, this kind of review video in years hopefully you enjoyed it even more i do have some other videos that i look back at and I'm, i find them pretty amusing one of them is how to carry conceal when in the bathroom in public which is a big deal you don't want somebody to be able to reach under and grab your firearm how do you do that how do you keep your your gun from falling in the toilet how do you keep it hygienic i do have that video and then i have another one i have a couple more that are prepper type um you know, high intensity firearm review type video. So I'll put them in the links in the description and also in the cards. And thanks for popping in. Okay, so we make sure it's in the safe direction and then you can dry fire it. Is it safe? Is it in a safe spot? Okay. Good job. Okay. Dave, go put it on your shoulder. That'll work. Okay, Paige. And stick you. around for a minute. Come check. We have to let the other people know that we're here. Okay, Kaya. Before we go up to go the back desk. Your sister now. You okay, come over here, squirrel. Is that no? Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Pull your bolt back. This is Paige's gun yep, that yep. they did. Uh, our camo job. Our pink camo job on. Any bullet down there? Remember, yeah. it looks like gold. Okay. Nothing. Okay. And stick your finger in there. Make sure that there's no bullet and you fill the barrel hole. The chamber hole. Nothing? Yeah. Okay. It's so small. It's a small Okay. Hole. Point it in the safe spot. Is it? There you go. Good job. Kaya, you remember you don't come around the side when somebody's shooting. Dusty world, dear. Huh, Mama? What, honey? It's dusty world, dear. Is huh? it a little bit dusty? Yeah, a so look, Daddy's now going downrange. When you go downrange, you leave your guns up here. You leave them up here. I'll have to take off these. You can't take those off. I'll help you.